Hello my friends, it's another short video from me, Steve England Outdoor Learning and my one a day videos. Um, having been in isolation for probably about 100 years now, how it feels to be honest with you, we all feel the same. Um, I'm having a walk through the woodlands guys and it's early April and um, I've just stumbled on something that's fruiting really early. It shouldn't be out yet for at least probably another two to three weeks. Uh, so today guys I want to talk mushrooms so I'll turn the camera around guys and I'll show you what I found here you go I'm in this mixed woodland in Stoke Park in Bristol puppy come by good boy and if I take the camera up here guys look at what I found on the floor and you see those mushrooms there now let's have a look let's see what we've got here so remember the golden rule guys when you're collecting mushrooms or trying to identify the mushrooms is you must always get the base of the mushroom as well not snap it off because the base of the mushroom is one of your indicators so let's have a look see what we've got here wow look at these so do any of you guys watching this video recognize what species of mushroom you think I've got here can you see it's got a wavy edge? That's one of the indicators of this mushroom. And also, if you look at the gills, let's put some shade on you. Can you see they're creamy white gills? Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about mushroom identification is, and I've heard this so many times, that any mushroom that has white gills is deadly poisonous. Well, that's not the case because these mushrooms have white gills, creamy white gills. All right, sorry, okay. And uh, these are actually edible mushrooms. And these are called St. George mushrooms. Highly edible and highly prized. Normally, they normally come out on St. George's Day, around about St. George's Day, which I think is what, 23rd of April, something like that. And that's how they get their name of the St. George's mushrooms. But they are fruiting a couple of weeks early. and the, the soil, sorry, hang on a sec, somebody wants some attention. Hello. The mushrooms are early this year um, and it's been very dry. We haven't had a lot of rain, so they have fruited here for some reason. And um, so these guys are going to be coming home with me because they will make a very nice addition to our fry up. These are the St. George mushrooms. And let's have a look at the bases. Can you see the base there? One of the things that you have to watch out for when you're picking mushrooms, if I cut this in half long ways, we might be able to see inside. There, if I turn it like that, just there. Sometimes you get a lot of threadworms going up from the soil, up eating away all the way through the mushroom there and then it makes it non-edible because you're eating lots of worms basically but this one looks good to me it doesn't look like there's any thread worm in there at all so this one's a good one so this is the St George mushroom so guys any of you that have been on my wild food foraging courses I've always tried to encourage you to make a wild food diary a little pocket book just write down in your in your notebook of what you found the date you found it and the location thereabouts roughly so the second year year two all you need to do is get your diary out open the page up have a look at it and go ah i know where there are some saint george's mushrooms in this location on roughly this date and you can just go there but it's enormous fun doing it i spent years probably five years making a, a food diary a wild food diary and a plant diary and all sorts it was such great fun and um so there you go guys this is my one a day videos i hope everybody's safe so guys if you like and subscribe to my steve england youtube channel you'll get video updates or like my steve england outdoor learning facebook page and i hope you're all safe guys and um, hopefully fingers crossed this will pass soon and then uh, we can get back out here and do some wild things see you later guys bye